I'm going to show you wrap and turn short rows. There are many different kinds of short rows, but the wrap and turn is the one that I know how to do. There are also German short rows, Japanese short rows, and yarn over short rows. I'll post some links on the blog if anyone is interested in learning about some other kinds of short rows. And you can use short rows to add shaping to a sweater, maybe along the bust line if you need a little more room in that area. Or you could even use short rows to make the heel of a sock. And you can see on this fabric here, there's a little bump in the fabric. And it's not flat like it would be if there were not short rows. So when you put your short rows in, it gives you a little extra room like you see here. And the wrap part of short rows is optional, but a lot of knitters do it to help prevent holes in their knitting. So I'll show you how to wrap your stitches on both the front of the fabric and the wrong side, and then I'll show you how to pick up your wraps. And picking up the wraps is optional as well, but it does look better on your fabric than if you were to just leave the wraps alone. So on the right side of my fabric here, let's say that my pattern is telling me to knit within six stitches of the end of my row and then wrap and turn. So I'm going to knit until I have six stitches left on my needle. And then I'm going to do my wrap and turn. So I'm knitting, so I'm going to keep my yarn in the back where it is. I'm going to slip the next stitch purlwise onto my right needle, bring the yarn to the front of the work, and slip that stitch back to the left needle. And now I'm going to turn. And assuming that you're going to be purling back, You'd want to make sure that your yarn is on the front of your fabric in position to purl. And when you make your wrap and turn, you don't want to pull really tightly on the yarn. You don't want to strangle your wrapped stitch. Just leave it kind of loose. And now I'm going to purl. And let's pretend that my pattern is telling me to purl within six stitches and then wrap and turn. So I'm going to purl until I have six stitches left. Okay, so my yarn is in the front when I'm purling, so I'm going to keep it there. Slip the next stitch purlwise onto the right needle. And this time I'm going to move the yarn to the back of the work. Slip the stitch back to my left needle. And now I'm going to turn. And since I'm going to be knitting, I need to make sure that my yarn is in the back of my work. And again, you don't want to pull too tightly on the yarn and strangle your wrapped stitch. Just leave it a little bit loose. Now I'm going to show you how to pick up the wrapped stitch, or the wrap. And you can see it right there, that little strand around the base of my stitch. So to pick up the wrap on the knit side of your fabric, you want to take your right needle and you're going to be knitting the wrap and the stitch together. So pick it up with your right needle, pick up the wrap first, and then go into your knit stitch or your next stitch and you want to knit them both together. Just like that. And then continue knitting. And you can hardly tell where that wrapped stitch was now. And it might look a little funny at first, but it should even itself out as you continue knitting. And if you're going to be blocking your fabric, that will also help even things out. So to pick up that wrapped stitch on a purl side, it's just as easy.
And I have a little more trouble finding the wrap on pearl fabric. So I always just have to try to remember which stitch I wrapped. Okay, there it is. You can see that extra strand of fabric around the base of the stitch. And I find it easier when I'm picking up on the pearl side if I grab that stitch that's wrapped and slide it to my right needle and then pick up the wrap like that with my left needle and put them both on together and then purling them together. But you could do it however is comfortable for you. And I'll just show you the front of the fabric. So it looks a little weird right now. I don't know if you can tell on the camera that little bit of a bump, but that should even itself out as you continue knitting. So that is on stockinette fabric. If you're just doing garter stitch fabric, you don't have to pick up your wraps because they're going to be disguised pretty well. So, I mean, you could pick them up on garter fabric if you want to, but you really don't have anything to hide on garter stitch fabric with those wraps. They'll just kind of hide themselves. Okay, so there is what my fabric looks like after doing a few short rows. And that's it for wrap and turn short rows.